Hi, this is Mo Volans, and in this short series of video sessions, I'm going to be taking a look at the amazing Marg Magnum K compressor. This single rack unit isn't just a compressor, it packs a number of different innovative features and actually several different processors. And we'll be taking a look at all of this across different scenarios with different kinds of audio. In this session, I'm going to be concentrating on a couple of different elements in an electronic mix. We'll look at both the drums and the bass here and see how we can use the Magnum K to enhance both parts. Now before we start, I want to let you know to keep an eye on the units at the bottom of the screen here. Now these will update in real time, giving you an overview of the settings I'm using at any given time. So moving over to the hardware, let's take a look at the elements in the mix that I want to concentrate on. First up, I want to take a look at the bass line. So first of all, I'm going to play you the bass in the mix, and then we'll take a listen to it in isolation without the Magnum K engaged. So as you can hear, the recording's pretty good already, so a nice starting point. So let's start to add some compression. I'm gonna up the ratio and threshold so we immediately get some gain reduction and trigger the compressor. We'll see the blue lights firing, and I'm gonna engage uh, the Marg. So let's take a listen. That's great, but I wanna put a little bit of sidechain uh, filtering in here at about 40 hertz. So let's up the threshold a touch more. The attack and release times are turned right down. We're in feedback mode and only a small amount of compression. So it's a really fast acting minimal compressor. Now let's add the cake up, just a touch. And then we're gonna move across straight to the parallel EQ and add loads of air band at 10K. Now that's the bite I'm really looking for. I also wanna add a little sub, just about three or four dB. Let's disengage that. One more thing we can do is we can turn the makeup gain up and we've got the soft soft limit mode on so we're going to get some nice clipping. Now let's take a quick listen in the mix. That's nice, it's really standing out well. Now let's take a look at another element in this mix, and that's the drums. As you can hear, we've got a good start, but things really need to be brighter. I'm gonna engage the Marg, and you can hear straight away, it's brighter, punchier, and more present. Now, how have I done this? I'm gonna stop playback and show you the patch that we've got. I've got the ratio set to a moderate amount, as is the threshold, but we've got quite a lot of compression here in the compression range area. We've also got quite a high sidechain at 120 hertz. This is to stop the kick drum triggering the compression circuit. I've then allowed the transients through with a moderate attack and got a really fast release time. We're in feed forward mode. I've got no Magnum K comp here because I don't want to soften the snare. Moving over to the EQ2, I've got some low frequency engaged, but in tight mode and at about 150 hertz to enhance the kick drum and just above. Then this is where it's really important. We've got the air band dialed in really high at 25K and we're at about plus eight here at about nine o'clock. Now this might seem like a lot of gain, but the air band is so organic that it works really well. And this is a trick that the Marg guys actually showed me in person. So again, let's take a listen with it engaged and disengaged. It's really a night and day difference. There's no comparison there. Hopefully this has shown you some of the things you can do with an electronic mix with the Magnum K. So as you can see, the Magnum K is an incredibly flexible processor that goes far beyond the capabilities of a traditional compressor. I hope you've been enjoying these sessions and that they've given you some insight into what this incredible processor is capable of. And remember, if you want to check out more products from Marg, you can go straight to their website here. And of course, if you're a fan of the famous Airband in the EQ2 and EQ4, you can get both of these products as plugins from the Plugin Alliance website. If you found this useful, remember to check out the videos in the rest of this series, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>